Are you struggling to find commercial images for your YouTube videos or website? In this video, I'm going to show you 10 places where you can find free stock photos to use commercially and summarize at the end which ones don't even require attribution. Hello, my name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell notification icon. Here are 10 places where you can get free commercial images. Number one, pixels. Here you can search for free stock photos by just entering your keyword in the search box. On its legal page, it says the pictures are free for personal and even for commercial use. You can modify, copy, and distribute the photos all without asking for permission or setting a link to the source. So attribution is not required. Number two, Pixabay. You can search for any images, vectors, and videos by entering your keyword in the search box. It says you can copy, modify, distribute, and use the images even for commercial purposes, all without asking for permission or giving credits to the artist. However, depicted content may still be protected by trademarks, publicity, or privacy rights. Number three, Unsplash. Unsplash adds 10 new royalty-free photos every 10 days. You can click on any of the different categories here at the top. Under license, it says that all photos published on Unsplash can be used for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. You don't need to ask permission from or provide credit to the photographer or Unsplash, although it is appreciated when possible. Number four, free images. You can browse a collection of free photos, images, popular images, editors, pics, light box, photographers, cameras. You got collection categories here, or you can search by keyword. On its frequently asked questions page, it says, are these images really free? Yes, they're free as long as you stick to the rules in the image license agreement. Also, in some cases, you may need to notify the artists about using the images, and sometimes you need to give credit to them. You can see these restrictions under the image previews right next to the download button. Number five, Visual Hunt. You can enter a keyword in the search box. At the top, you can select commercial use, non-commercial, public domain. You can sort by relevancy, recent, interestingness. When you select a photo, then check on the far right for the license. On this one, for instance, it says commercial use, okay, and modifications, okay. You can also attribute the photo, by just copying and pasting the code. On the front page, it said, most of our photos are CCO license. This means do whatever you want. Additionally, we offer all Creative Commons and public domain photos from sources like Flickr and make it possible to embed them directly from our website. Under Visual Hunt's Terms of Service, it says Visual Hunt cannot be held responsible for copyright violations and cannot guarantee the legality or suitability for any use the images found through its service or contained in its system. Visual Hunt makes no warranty expressed or implied regarding continued service information provided, the legality or licensing of the pictures or the functionality of the site. It is your responsibility to ensure the use of any pictures is legal and that they are in compliance with all applicable laws. Number six, Pick Jumbo. Here you can search from 50 million high resolution licensed images and you can select from any of the categories from the drop-down. On their Frequently Asked Questions page, it says, can I use photos for commercial use for client works, etc.? Yes, you can. I'm just sharing them for free, and it's up to you how you use them. You can also download all the images at once. Number seven, Gratisography. This site provides some great emotional pictures. It says, free high-resolution pictures you can use on your personal and commercial projects free of copyright restrictions. No attribution is required. You can click on any of the categories here, or you can enter a keyword in the search box. Number eight, Picography. Here you can search for any gorgeous free images to use for however you like. On its frequently asked questions page, it says, can I use images for commercial work? Yes, it's up to you to decide how to use the images. We do not provide model or property releases or any images. It is your responsibility to obtain relevant releases from models or property owners. Number nine, morgue file. Here you can search for millions of free photos. 
On his latest page, it says you are free to remix to adapt the work, commercial, use this work for commercial purposes, accompany the photos with other content under the following conditions. Stand alone basis, you cannot sell, license, sub-license, rent, transfer, or distribute this image exactly as it is without alteration. Or if you don't alter the image and leave it exactly as it is, then you must credit the photographer to use it. Ownership, you may not claim ownership of this image in its original state. Number 10, public domain archive. These are new 100% free stock photos every single week. On its terms and conditions page, it says all the images on our site, public domain archive, are released under CCO common domain dedication. This means you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes or without asking permission. Here's a summary of the sites where no attribution is required to use the images for commercial purposes. Pixels, Pixabay, Unsplash, Gratisography, Public Domain Archive. This means you don't have to ask permission from or give credit to the photographer. Click the card icon to learn how to find images for your YouTube thumbnails and the best way to use them in your videos. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic leads and subscribers on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos. Music